Hi, today we're going to talk about how to set up a webhook within your Poly account in order to send data from one of your Poly polls and surveys over to a Google Sheet via Zapier. So let's dive into it. Uh, first things first, you'll want to choose the poll or survey that you're going to send the data to the Google Sheet for. In this example, I'm going to use my weekly happiness poll. There are a couple of different ways that you can actually go about setting up the webhook within Poly. Uh, first, you can either do that within the results by clicking these three dots up in the corner and then clicking Create Webhook. If you do that, one of the benefits is that we will pre-populate the ID for you within the webhook, so it makes it really easy for you to fill in the relevant information you need. If you want to do it from scratch, you can do that via the API tab and then clicking Webhooks here. Cool. So here's the webhook that I have set up for my weekly happiness poll. If I click into this and click edit, it'll pull up the form which you will fill out. So uh, you can name it whatever you would like. Again, if you create it via the results, we'll automatically populate that for you. Then you're going to need the URL from Zapier um, that will tell us how to send that data. So if we pop over to Zapier, here is my Zap that I'm using for this example. What I am doing is I'm using the app Webhooks by Zapier, and then I'm choosing to catch the hook here. If I click Continue and then go into this Customize Hook section, here is the URL that I'm actually using in the Webhook. So if you look at this URL here, it matches what I have over here in Poly. Great, so then you're going to find some test data. I pulled in some test data. If we go and look at um, my test Slack here, here's my weekly happiness poll where somebody has responded. And we've pulled in that test data here. So you can see here are all of the different pieces of the data that then you'll want to send to the Google Sheet, right? So like your vote, username, question, etc. So, we know that the poly side is working and that your webhook is enabled because we've pulled in some of that test data. So what we can do from here is choose to send it to Google Sheets. So Google Sheets is the app. I want to create a new spreadsheet row for each time the data is uh, populated. I'm going to choose my Google Sheets account. And then you're going to choose which spreadsheet you want to populate. So the results for weekly happiness check-in, which I have open here in another tab, and then whichever worksheet it is. So in this one, I just have the one, so I'll click sheet one. And then you'll see what happens within my worksheet. I actually do have some rows or columns pre-populated. So ID, user ID, username, date, et cetera. So whichever data is going to be relevant for you to populate in your Google Sheet, you'll just want to have those defined as columns so that we can pull them in via Zapier. Cool. So from here, you can add in some additional information. So let's say we want to add in like a data ID in the ID field, you know, maybe our user ID here. So if we can find that. Obviously, there's a lot of data here that we've pulled in, so um, you'll just want to find the relevant things. Actually, we're going to do that in the username field. And, you know, you can come through and add these over time or whatever makes sense for you. Obviously, we probably want the vote. Great. If there are comments, you can add those. And obviously there's quite a bit of data that you can populate here. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go with these ones. So then I wanna test and continue, right? Awesome, so I'm gonna turn this on. Great, and then if I come over to my Google Sheet, you'll see, oh, there's my data that's been populated. Cool, so now I'm sending data via Poly through Zapier over to a Google Sheet, and then you can use this data for whatever you want from here, be it visualization, sharing with your other team members, et cetera. Cool, if you have any questions, let us know, and yeah, looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.